happy hump day. We have a very independent, oh, they're gone. For real diet at We have a very independent toddler with us today. <laughs> He's just been like bonkers since we got out of the car. But we have not been to Epcot in over a week. He so you, said that I've been keeping it from him. Yeah, so you know we were, all, we, were, we were really needing to get in this park. So our expectations are nil, but our hearts will be full of joy. And James is just in his own world. Bye James. Meet you at World Showcase. And what does this mean? Epcot Park update. Spaceship Park closed for refurbishment July 19th? What is that about? I'm like, I obviously get panicked because before COVID, it was supposed to get like a full gut redo. And so like seeing that, so we like, like <sighs> thought that we were for said goodbye, like, and then it didn't change. That makes perfect. I don't know, I feel like we would have known, right? I think we would have known, yeah. Refurbishment doesn't mean... Yes. Maybe there'll be a soft opening of... Secrets of Water, Life Extravaganza, Moana Express, whatever this area is called. <laughs> <laughs> we took the little seat off. Do you like it, James? Shoot. Yeah? Shoot. While our little brother snoozes, we're gonna go to the Imagination Institute. <gasps> You see Figment? Hello, on your tour you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. With just the spark of inspiration, I made my house an innovation. And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! I think this is such a cool space. I was really bummed that they didn't end up like expanding the festival center to be that play area, whatever it was called. That was gonna be cool. I also surprisingly didn't just like, I was going through my emails just now while they're on the ride and uh, typically just go ahead and delete like Disney surveys if I've recently done one. And I recently did one with our Moonlight Magic. Um, but I looked, opened up this email and it was like, hey, we want to invite you to a one hour on Disney property, like interview session to spitball ideas or whatever. I've like, never heard of that. And you get a $175 Disney gift card. And I was like, yeah, sign me up. Let's go. Let's talk about what we can change and do and grow on Disney property. Go to do the survey. And it was like all these questions about like what you or somebody in your family does to make sure to like weed you out of potential groups. And I was like, oh, usually timeshare is like a big one, but they never said timeshare. They said like travel agency, air, hotel. Technically we're not hotels, we're timeshare, we're resorts. But then it was like, are you a blogger or vlogger? And I was like, ah, yes. And then I was like, all right, thanks, but no thanks. We don't want you to be here. So um, I'm less bummed about the $175 Disney gift card, which would have been awesome, but more bummed about the fact of like, what kind of questions would they have asked? What kind of opinions would they be trying to solicit out of the people joining for an hour session on Disney property. Also, where would that have been on Disney property? One of the convention halls? What kind of like interview site would that be? Group? Would it be individualized? Because like it was inviting a group of two to five. Like, come on. So if you have ever done that or get that email from Disney Research, let us know. Email us, call us, comment. I'm nosy. I want to know what that's about how that experience works. I never looked over here and said, find me, the game of finding with Nemo. Wow. Cool.
having a little free time in the Mexico Pavilion. A lot of just for looking in the Mexico Pavilion. Wow. We're big fans of the Mexico Pavilion, huh? All the food and wine signage and buildings are coming up. Starts the 27th. I feel like we did the same shot last time. 27th of November. So the 27th, what's today? It's like a week and a half away? And we will be singing our songs and eating our eats. He says I must visit my paisan. Just, can we talk about the gorgeousness, the sun setting? Oh! Wow! Let's go shopping. Hey, Mamma Mia! Mamma Mia! <laughs> Mamma Mia! That's Teddy's newest fun trick. What, you want to get out too? Wow, we don't always come over to this little alcove. It's a boat! You see the boat? You look like a gondolier with that shirt on. Hop in, babe. Start singing the song. You gonna hop the fence? It's against the rules, I think. We love Regal Eagle for many reasons, but one of the main ones is they have a fountain beverage that like you dispense your own. And so I was able to get ice cold water all the way filled up right there, ice and everything. There's not a lot of those left in the wilderness, so always take advantage of them. And like keep note of where they are, because I feel like, I don't know, that used to be like key information I had. I gotta write that down. I'll write it down and I'll put it in the description. Just an absolutely gorgeous World Showcase Lagoon with a Disney duck right there. Who would have thought at Disney we would have found James's favorite non-Disney thing right now? Mario. Can we put it back? Say bye-bye. Maybe there'll be other Mario stuff. We're in Japan, soaking in some AC. In this area that used to have jewelry has so much different memorabilia. We're just basking in the ambiance. Like the sun feels it's like it's out later. It feels like summer. Because it is, babe. Really is. Wow. Well, we tried <laughs> to come to the front of the park to watch the shows on Spaceship Earth, but they might be over. We might have just missed it. That's okay. We got fireworks. Fireworks. Rarely do we see them from here. So, we've said it before, we like to change the boys um, and then get them into pajamas before we get home. So we do that in the back of the car before we get the stroller in. Also, we did just miss the shows on Space Breath. That was a little, like it's like a bummer when you just miss something, you know? Um, but if you, that was the finale. If you're interested in watching the shows, I would suggest if you're like ending your night with that, going like, 15 20 minutes before park close it will it will light back up after the fireworks but it stays like just like illuminated like barely like just like a couple little lights here and there during the fireworks so it doesn't take away from the fireworks but like right now no more shows will take place on it but it will be lit up but if you want to see the shows like us we're gonna have to come back and try again and see it like 20 minutes before park close we're in the dark night <laughs> And we're here to say it's good to. <laughs> we're in the light night. Wait, I just. It's heard. good to be home. Hold on, we're home. We cleaned up. We did the dishes. We ate cookies. Um, a movie came out the same night as The Dark Knight, and I just saw it on the internet. Um, the Lorax. Hold on. <laughs> it was important. A movie came out the same night as. The Dark Knight. It's the It's the Lorax. It's right there. Mamma Mia. Good to be home. Did you really think it was the Lord? No. Yeah, it was Mamma Mia and Dark Knight. And I feel like that's our personality. And the Lorax. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. 
We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.